She felt mighty stupid for getting herself lost in them woods. Listen, Luke, it's my fault Clara got lost. I didn't know she was your sister, and I wanted you all to myself. You would do that just for me? Now you're gonna ask selfishly, son. That's despicable. You're the kind of city slicker my family left Central Park West to avoid. Mm. You've got a lot of chutzpah, Missy. Goodbye. I understand her pain. <laughs> And all they did was make me do terrible things. <clears throat> Two for copyright. And then break my yeah. heart. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa, welcome, welcome to love. love. It's full of doubt and pain and uncertainty. But then one day you find a man you love so, so much, much it hurts. Love. Wesley! Who is he? You call <laughs> me. Woohoo! In your face, imaginary guy! Hey, let's see if that song is finally off the air. Coming up next, Springfield's latest one-hit wonder, The Mo Sislak Connection, produced by David Berg. <laughs> mo, mo, mo. I like me, I like me, mo, mo, mo. Why do I like me? Nobody likes me. Relatable. We can spend another week at the ranch. That is, dude, where's my ranch? For anyone else cares of me watching The Simpsons, it's one of my favorite, or practically my favorite animated series. Or, I'm going to say cartoon, because cartoon is supposed to be for kids. And I just want to say welcome. Um, I apologize for the awful squeaky voice, because I sound like Dipper Pines, but squeakier and unpleasant. And the yeah, host the Buddha, the... At least maybe some people will see this. I'm not sure what channel I may post this on. But, um, I'm so sorry. I had to lower this MacBook down because I don't want, want to reveal my face whatsoever, so to speak. I just do not like how I look on camera, even though I have um, re revealed my face. I'm just, let's just say, since I'm not like a cute, like, Japanese girl that people will probably would be so kind to, I'm just. An ordinary guy, so to speak, American uh, guy that has zero friends and that's socially awkward, high functioning autistic, and uh, let's just say that people don't like to be around me because, well, of my appearance and well, I, I'm going to put this down if that's okay because I want to put it on the table so that the map book won't be overheated. But after I saw some videos on Reddit, like, I think about this adorable Filipino um, high schooler that um, does school tutorials. I'm not sure for any boys out there that are in school, not just high school, but also college. I hope that if you're here that you also be um, a little kind of respectful because I'm not masculine and whatnot. And I, I guess you could say I'm kind of jealous because of all to support how people tell her that she's adorable. But if you're a guy... You ought to be called, you look sharp, bro, or, you know, you look cool. Um, no homo or something. I think that's really nasty. I don't like when people say stuff like that. I'm really sensitive, and I'll talk about that near the end. But I guess thing I could uh, just share a little bit about myself. One, I do love Pokemon. I don't think you could tell much for my Pokemon pants. Okay, and I apologize for the quality because I don't feel comfortable doing this on my phone or I don't I, I just have to transfer my videos on my phone um I have Rollet here whom is this plushie that I bought at the 99 sensor which I deeply yet dearly miss and also lost my Spider-Man um um mosquito repellent bracelet unfortunately or sadly and I also got Eevee here from GameStop that I um used to go to even though I have been there for quite some time and I also have my Pokemon Dari that I also bought at GameStop and I do have some of my baby well not my baby but my childhood pictures in here but I don't want to reveal my face of course and 
Oops, my apologies. Let me just take them out. But, oh yeah, there's a lot of pictures I have in here of me when I was eight. Basically, I did, I tried to do drawings of the hot, the first 150 Pokemon, but I didn't went too far while I was studying Japanese, if you can see here. I tried to, I, I didn't color in Charizard, or, excuse me, Charmander, because I didn't have the, the right markers for it. Or, I think I was out, I don't remember. I also bought these, like, scented pens. They're not pencils, but they're pens from Dollar Tree. And that's when I did, like, a very odd parent drawing. But people only wanted to view the episodes I give as reactions, and they click off all the way. Also, one more thing, because since we're boys, right? Um, at least in this generation, that's this is our symbol. I like the color blue. Even though I think blue might be one of my lucky colors. I'm not sure, though. I know gold and white is. But it's still a cute color. So, uh, that's just something that I just want to share about myself because I love Pokemon. I really do want a hug from another boy, I think. Because maybe it has to do with how I've been treated by males in the past. And I guess you could get told that I'm really nervous here because I know people are going to laugh and bully me or call me man bro or dude or homie in a threatening way. So to speak, I guess you could say I don't, I'm not like normal of how a boy acts. You know, I may seem normal in, in public. But indoors, I'm not. It actually makes sense. And I apologize, you can't really see much of my house. But um, I do love to draw, if you could tell. And I'm a Vexlophile as well, and I'm proud of it. I want to talk too long because I also want to watch the scissors, and I am sweating, so I apologize for that. The thing is, for me personally, I sometimes feel that I should be born a girl. I'm not trans. But maybe it's because of how I feel that, especially, I don't know, it's hard to explain it. Um, we find boys attractive, okay? Male, loving male, that makes sense. I sometimes feel that I had to be all, like, masculine, macho, and, quote, straight acting, just to be accepted by not only straight guys themselves, but gay, bi guys, etc. And for me personally, it's really difficult. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I, I apologize. I'm sweating a bit because I know no one's going to watch this. I'm going to get deeply hated. And I am actually supposed to be 42 months clean um, by 11 o'clock. And also, I'm supposed to be living an hour and a half to puppy sit because I have to and I... Cannot do videos at my, my mother's house because, well, for privacy reasons, so that we won't get dogs or swatted again. So I can't do that, and I want to. I want to respect and basically support my mother for, for that. It, it's always been really, really difficult for me just to form friendships with. Well, I just don't like people in general, but mostly towards guys because of how we probably don't have something in common. Or sometimes I feel that I'm an alien because I'm the only guy that basically dresses like this, that likes Pokemon. I know I'm not the only one, but sometimes it feels that way. And, well, okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just exaggerating. But when it comes to isolation, no one ever wanted to hang out with, with me. And also, with being the sensitive type, I just wanted us to hang out with another guy without having to please him, or yet impress him by acting masculine for his comfort, it actually makes sense. And, oh no, I, I, I just sometimes feel that I, I don't deserve friendship from anyone, in that I would stay as a loser, as I've been told by people for Buddha forbid knows how long. Also, I apologize on a yard. Because I've been so depressed, I have slept throughout the afternoon, or at least taking like little naps, even though sometimes I sleep on the floor. I'm so depressed that it is difficult just to clean up around the house. Um, I noticed that we even had like bed bugs too. I apologize that to hear that. Let's just say that, well, 
in my side because of my bed or whatnot. And I feel guilty that I had to say it out loud because I had to keep killing them by using Dawn Spray or something. Let's just say that it's hard to keep the place clean, especially how we've been um, struggling financially. It's also hard as well. And I know people probably would think, Dion, you live in a dump. I understand that if you think that because you'll see the kitchen and you see my bed and whatnot. But when your brother and your mother work so much, um, you, you just you just had to basically put up with what you have. Heck, my brother was barely able to give me four dollars if I want to buy myself a snack, a darchi and whatnot. I know my life seems really funny, and I understand that, but when you have no friends and no support from people, okay, plus I want to support my two brothers and my mother, of course, and they work a lot as it is. Um, plus, my brother's here, our oldest brother's here um, in the house. He sits in, in our older brother's room, so he gets the day, to, next two days off, and he deserves that. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have support outside of my family as well, or out of them three, if that actually makes sense. Especially if I have to be independent as, and I'm not a young adult, I, uh, for four months from now, Four months today, four months from today, I will be hitting my third decade. And I feel a little ashamed because of how far behind I am. And I hope that for the ones that may be viewing this, for any men out there, I hope you're not laughing at my situation. I feel a little embarrassed to say about this, especially if you had to say, get a therapist, men out, go to the gym, you know, meet people. It's not that easy. Especially when you are clinically depressed. And yes, I am. Well, you can't really see the scar here when I self-harm. But there's your example. I apologize. I, I even have it as my profile picture in my other YouTube channels. As proof. And I don't know. Maybe sometimes I feel that if I was born uh, um, a woman... My life would be much easier. You know, that's always true, though. But when you have support and people compliment you and they would basically hear about your your problems more instead of calling you the F word or maybe the R word to someone that may have autism. And, well, I don't want to say other stuff that people call me. I want to be having my outburst and being terrified of people and not be able to, let's just say, give eye contact because of how isolated I feel. I'm just terrified because I know I'm going to get laughed at on this. And I know people will probably view away from this video. I know they will. That's why I get nervous talking like this because, well, people just find me irritating to be around with. And I never had the support. Also, I hope it's not considered gay, right? You know, it shouldn't matter. Coming from a, a, an asexual person here, um, to have a hug from another male. And I would love to have a piggyback ride. I hope I'm small enough for that. Being, like, lifted up like I'm a little kid, so to speak. Right? Like a small kid, I, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. You know, just feeling outside of my brothers, of course. Right? And our mother, of course. Safe. And I know I do not act like my age. It's it's really complicated because I know no one's probably going to hear why I'm like this. But let's just say that so many people have hated me. Not just online, but even like in person. It's, I mean, you know, I do feel safe working out now. But in the past, it wasn't that great. It's, it's really difficult. I had a lot of awful incidents with people for no apparent reason. Um, I even have alcophobia. Which means I have to fear living out the house. And I also have hypnophobia. I do have a fear of falling asleep at that count. Um, slash insomnia. Which means I can't sleep. And having generalized anxiety. Having CPTSD. And yes, I'm also a rape victim. I just want to print that out. I don't know if, sh I don't know if I should go to further details, but... 
I just hope for you, man, if you, boys, whatever, you want to identify yourself based on that word or words, if you basically view it all the way and you want to show support, feel free to just type a blue heart, like, just a blue heart, unless you have something else to add, okay, this, this, that's all you have to, this, this, this to text or comment at blue heart. And if you're a girl that might be viewing this as well, woman, whatever, okay, feel free to text a red heart emoji if you show support for men that do struggle with mental health as well. Um, it would mean a lot if you do. And I uh, just thought blue and red would be a good combination. Leave is my favorite Pokemon. Okay, my bear is 62%. It was 66, but it's draining. So, God, I'm so nervous. Oh. <sighs>